It matters and the use of technology has become an essential role in modern classrooms. NBC 6's Maya Nicholson spoke to Kendall Parish Public Schools about integrating the tech. The use of technology has become essential in 21st century schools and classrooms. Students and parents were asked to adapt to digital classrooms during the COVID-19 pandemic. The digital environment has absolutely just expanded into this robust, rich uh, uh, content area that students can go to for uh, research, they can go to for um, design, they can go, for, go to for uh, professional development. Cattle Parish Public Schools use applications like Remind 101 and Canva district-wide. These platforms tend to allow two-way communication between not only the parent and the teacher, but the student and the teacher as well. You know, first and foremost, student safety is, is one of our top priorities and we want to make sure that regardless of environment, if it's digital or physical, our students are safe and, and comfortable. Uh, and so there's a lot of different ways and, and avenues that we take to ensure the safety of those students. Steele said the district errs on the side of caution as far as direct communication between teachers and students. Uh, we utilize just uh, traditional IT infrastructure like firewalls uh, to make sure that um, the communication is, is, is done um, in a safe manner and it's not going outside of uh, district parameters and district guidance uh, as far as the, the web traffic is concerned. We also utilize different platforms directly related to student safety. The Caddo Parish Public Schools use a platform called Lightspeed System which filters through messages and sends any unsafe or problematic messages to district administration. Steele said that students at Cattle Public Schools have had positive results after incorporating technology into the classroom. We are seeing, particularly with our high school population, just this um, very rich participation in um, a really robust learning environment online. Maya Nicholson, NBC6 News.